This video will discuss diatonic triads and Roman numeral analysis. In other words, we are going to begin to look at how chords and triads function within a key. Diatonic triads are the chords which can be built above each note of a scale by using only the notes which are found in the scale. So in this example, we have a C major scale, and above each scale tone, there's a triad built. The quality of the triads built on each scale degree will remain the same for every like quality scale. Um, in other words, the pattern will be the same for all major scales. It will be the same for all natural minor scales, etc. You might be a bit surprised to learn that all of the triads built on top of the scale tones of a major scale are not major. But the pattern that results will be the same for every major scale. So here is the pattern. Um, the tonic is major, supertonic is minor, median is minor, subdominant is major, dominant is major, submedian is minor, leading tone is diminished, and then we're back home to the major tonic. Harmonically, diatonic triads have different functions within a key. Um, depending on which scale degree they're built upon. The triad that is built on a tonic, on the tonic, is the most important chord within the key, its home base. The second most important triad, arguably, would be the chord which is built upon the dominant, which is a chord which sends you back home to the tonic. Roman numerals are often used to label diatonic triads, which can make it easier to see quickly what the function and quality of a triad are. Um, why Roman numerals? Because they can be used, you can have uppercase and lowercase numbers um, because they actually use letters. Um, if you need a, a bit of review on Roman numerals or if you've never used Roman numerals before, um, the, from 1 to 7 are going to use the letters I and V in various combinations. So 1, 2 is 2 I's, 3 is 3 I's. Um, v is a 5, so V with a 1 to the left is 5 minus 1, so that's 4. V alone is 5. V with an I to the right means 5 plus 1, in other words 6 and V plus 2 is 7. It gets more complicated as the numbers get bigger, but fortunately we only need 1 through 7. Um, the advantage here is we can use uppercase for major and lowercase for minor. Um, when you're writing these out by hand, it is traditional to put crosses on the I's and even over the V's to help better distinguish between the lowercase and the uppercase. And here is the Roman numeral analysis for our C major scale. I said that first degree is a major 1, minor 2, minor 3, major 4, major 5, minor 6, diminished 7, and diminished uses lowercase then back to major 1. This pattern will be the same for every major scale. All you have to do is make sure you get the correct key signature and you're set. This is the pattern for a natural minor scale. It's all, if you recall, it's going to be all the same note, major scale to a natural minor scale, all the same notes in different order. It's going to be the same thing with triads major to, mi major to natural minor all the same triads, just in a different order. So we have minor 1, diminished 2, major 3, minor 4, minor 5, major 6, major 7, back to minor 1. And again, this pattern will be the same for all natural minor scales. Harmonically, the minor quality dominant of the natural minor scale does not function well as a dominant chord. I said earlier that the dominant 
is that chord which sends you back home to the tonic. And when this dominant chord is minor in quality, it just doesn't do its job properly. So in a minor key, the dominant chord is usually altered, making it a major chord. So it will function properly. And the way that that is done is the third of the dominant chord is raised a half step, and now we have a major chord. And the quality and the Roman numeral are reflected here. When you use this altered tone from the dominant in the scale, the result is the harmonic minor scale. So diatonic triads, which are affected by this raised seventh of the harmonic minor scale, are the mediant, the dominant, and the subtonic triad becomes a leading tone triad. All the rest of the triads remain exactly the same as they were in natural minor. Here we have the G sharp, which is that raised seventh in an A minor scale, G sharp, G sharp. Altered tones in diatonic triads, as in with harmonic minor scale, and is will always be done with accidentals. You cannot put them in the key signatures. And let's notice which scale, or excuse me, which chord tones are affected. The raised seventh raises the fifth of the median chord and changes it to an augmented triad. As we already said, the raised seventh affects the third of the dominant chord, making it a major quality. And that raised seventh affects the root of the seven chord, changing it from a major quality subtonic triad to a diminished quality leading tone triad. So these are the qualities of the triads using the harmonic minor scale. Um, it is possible also, and there are other, other variations when using the melodic minor scale, but for right now, for this semester, we aren't going to worry about melodic minor scale. We're only going to use natural minor and harmonic minor for triads. Here you can get a look at both natural and harmonic minor with the, alter, with the altered chords half step higher, move the, the median goes from a major to an augmented, dominant goes from minor to major, and we move from subtonic to leading tone from major to diminished. So now we need to be able to analyze a series of triads in a major key. So here we are in the key of D major, D major, a D triad, D major triad, in the key of D is the tonic, so we have a major one. A, C sharp, don't forget to use the key signature. E is an A major triad in first inversion, so a major dominant in first inversion. E, G, B is E minor. E in the key of D is the second degree, so we have a minor quality two. And G, B, D, G major in second version. G in the key of D is the fourth scale tone, so this is a, a subdominant triad in second inversion. If you want to realize a series of chords in a major key, and you will because there is homework which is going to look very much like this, um, the first thing you need to do is start with a key signature. In a major key, remember that there are no alterations. So if you build triads on the correct chord tone in the correct inversion, if asked, all you need to do is draw the notes. There is nothing else to do. There are, never, there are no altered tones. This might be the easiest thing you do all semester. So 
key of G, dot, or want a tonic chord. Build a chord on top of G. Done. If you want a dominant in first inversion, in the key of G, the dominant is D, D, F sharp because you want the third in the bass, A. Dominant chord in first inversion. The sixth note of the, of the G major scale is E. No indication of inversion, so just build the triad. And three in the key of G is B. Second inversion means we want the fifth in the bass. So G, B, D goes to the bass. And that is the way that you will realize a series of chords in a major key. Now, to a minor key. A little bit more complicated because you have to deal with do you add a raised seventh or do you not. Um, you will not be looking at something which is just in natural minor or just in harmonic minor. So you're going to have to determine which, which it is or whether or not you need that altered tone or not. But remember that the figure must agree with the quality of the chord. So in this case here you have an F sharp, A sharp, C sharp that's a major quality chord. Here we have a major quality chord. But I'm jumping a little ahead of myself. So we're in B minor. B, B, D, F sharp, B minor triad. It's the tonic in minor. Okay. When I'm in a minor key, I'm always suspicious that when, I, you know, when I've got this altered tone. So here we have the major quality dominant in first inversion. Um, now we have D, F sharp, A. It's a D major triad. In the key of B minor, that is the median. So it's three. Notice that we're not using the A sharp in this case. So this is major quality, this is major quality, we're done. So this is based on harmonic, or excuse me, on natural minor. This is based on harmonic minor. Um, C sharp, E, G, C sharp diminished. C sharp in the key of B is the second scale degree. So we have a two diminished. And lastly, as we're looking at this, A sharp, C sharp, E, an A sharp diminished triad. Um, a sharp in the key of B is 7, so we have a 7 diminished. When you are supplying the chords yourself, um, it works very much the same as what, what we did with major, but an important element in this is to ask yourself what is the raised seventh of this minor key. Okay, so we're in the key of G minor, what is the raised seventh of a G harmonic minor scale? It's F sharp. F sharp is the only accidental you are allowed to use. You may not alter more than one note. You may not use any other accidentals. In the key of G minor, the only note which will ever need to be altered, in other words, the only note which is not in the key signature that you are allowed to use in this key is F sharp can't say that enough times. If you will follow this rule, you will avoid a lot of mistakes. So, G minor. Step one, put in the key signature of G minor. If you want a tonic triad, G, B flat, D, minor tonic, minor figure, all is good. Minor Roman numeral, it's all great. Now, dominant. We want a major dominant. The dominant root of, of G minor is D. D, F sharp, you've got to raise the third in a dominant chord. 
A. So there's our minor, excuse me, major dominant in a minor key. Four. It's a minor key. Four, four is never one of the chords that is ever altered, so don't mess with it. Um, in a G major scale, the fourth note is C. C, E flat, G, minor chord, with minor Roman numeral. Now, here we find a 7 diminished. Okay, if you remember off the off the bat that if you have a diminished chord that's harmonic minor, then you know right away to start with a raised seventh. If you don't remember that, imagine that that sharp is not there. You will have F A C. F A C is a major chord if you're ignoring the sharp that. So we don't want a major chord, we want a diminished chord and then we remember the only accidental we can use is F sharp so you raise the F sharp and so you have a 7 diminished. And then the final final triad in this example is a major quality 3 um, B flat D F that is major. I'm not, you're not being asked for augmented so don't do any alteration.